This is Brian Lightman to show you part two of the up-down tube project. In the last video, we completed the rack and pinion assembly with the tube guide. In this video, we'll design and fab the enclosure, limit switches, an LED flashing light on top, and then of course we need a microcontroller encoding to run the system. After cutting out a half inch piece of plywood as the base, I hot glued the rack and pinion system to the base. I then cut out four pieces of foam board and hot glued them together to create a shell. I attached the shell to the half inch plywood with two screws. The tube guide was then hot glued to the top of the shell. Lastly, two limit switches were placed at the top and the bottom that would be interfaced to the microcontroller. Here's a close up showing the limit switches. They were made with chipboard and a UV glue. After some preliminary coating on the pickaxe processor, the system was operational. When the carriage strikes one of the limit switches, the code switches the direction. I now turn my attention to the top of the control rod, where I'd like to place a flashing blue light. I had this old plastic cap laying around, and I thought I would insert a blue LED to create a dome light. To attach the dome light, it's going to require a fitting, a fitting that I can make with a 3D printer. So I measured the internal diameter of the tube, went to Tinkercad and designed up the fitting. I then moved it over to the slicer with supports and then printed it out. After peeling away the supports, the lens fit perfectly. Here it is in an exploded view. After adding an LED and pressing it all together, we have a dome light. A pickaxe microcontroller was chosen because it's small and can handle the code easily. Then everything had to be hooked up and the wires needed to be managed. The coding is very straightforward and comprises two states, the up state and the down state. The system is triggered by an external master timer. Once triggered, it goes through a down cycle and then it waits and then goes to an up cycle. The system flashes the blue light on the down cycle. Here's the system in operation from the back side. Wires had to be carefully routed so that they don't interfere with the mechanism. Here's the full up system test from the front side. And there you have it, the completed up down two project that was taken from an idea and made a reality through the design and fabrication workflow process. End of demo.